I'm gonna be kind of weird. I'm gonna put this bib on because I just washed this shirt, so. Have this nice cooking bib on now because I don't have an apron. Good morning. So I just woke up and I'm really hungry and I think I'm gonna make some coffee and some avocado toast, so you guys can see me make that, and then I'll show you everything else I eat the rest of the day. So, uh, without further ado, let's begin. Bye.
Alrighty, so it's lunchtime now and I'm probably gonna make myself a small noodle bowl. I have some of the Ripad Thai noodles and bok choy and there's like soy sauce and stuff around so I'll probably be eating that tonight or right now for lunch. So yeah, I'll show you guys how I make it. We got all kinds of goodies in here. There's our roommate stuff, there's our stuff. We just gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat. Well, first thing I see is what I said I was going to eat, which are these noodles and things. So as you so first things first, we're just going to start off by getting a pan. This big pan here. So that's going to be where the noodles go into. We have our leftover bok choy. And we have our noodles that were cooked with some zoodles. So what I did find was the sauce we originally ate the noodles with, which is this red curry sauce, and then the curry that I made last night. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all of this into the pan. I'm going to get um, a teeny bit of coconut oil. I know there are oil-free vegans. I'm just not quite there yet. I'm just going to add a small bit of wrap to this. So let's see. About this much. Gonna use the front burner. Light your stove. Here we go. Now, this is how I tend to cook. There are a lot of people who want like recipes and like very particular things, but I'm just not that person. I frequently don't follow a recipe. I just put things in and then hope for the best. And I think that's the best thing you can do. Like, if you guys don't watch Hot for Food, you should. They make a lot of their stuff just by experimenting and that's what cooking is it's experimenting with flavors and textures and you know different foods to see how they come together so that's my opinion on cooking just put all of your leftover noodles in and you could probably do this with rice or i don't know other spaghettis This is on high, so you want to turn it down low, otherwise you're going to fuck it up like I almost just did. So I'm just going to add like a, like a spoonful of this curry to it. Now maybe this will be disgusting, but that's for me to find out. And if it sucks, well then don't follow this non-recipe recipe. This is how you can use up leftovers. Don't feel like you have to follow a recipe or that everything has to be exactly the same as in the cookbook. When you're vegan, <laughs> it's your choice how you eat vegan. Don't ever feel like you have to eat one way vegan. I always like what Bite Size Vegan says. She always says, I support the vegan diet or any vegan diet that helps you stay vegan. And I'm totally on board with that. Like. Being vegan doesn't mean you have to be like raw to four, or that you have to be raw, or that you have to be 80-10-10, or fruitarian, or all of these other things. Like just being vegan means being vegan, like living a vegan lifestyle, like contributing the least amount of harm as possible, because, well, inevitably you might step on an ant if you leave your house. So for those instances, we have to make some leeway. I'm just going to add a little bit more of this because, yum. And that should be it. Got my spoons. Add this bok choy. Now I'm mixing Indian curry with Thai curry, which is kind of a sin, but I don't really care. So my camera's about to die, so here's a quick shot of what I'm going to eat. Probably take seconds, I just like eating off of small plates. That's a thing. So there you go. It is. I'm just gonna steal a bite of that. Mmm. Taste it. Alright, given that food just fell out of my mouth, I'm going to stop filming. 
Also because my camera's about to die, so. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> 7 30 and i don't know what to eat and i just tried to watch tarzan and i got through like three minutes of it and i almost like started bawling my eyes out already so i think i need to eat and then i can try to watch it i don't know what it is now when i watch disney movies as an adult i get so emotionally torn by them i don't know if that happens to anyone else but i'm gonna go figure out what to eat now so <laughs> wish me luck i don't think there's anything in the house but that curry and carrots and grapes, so I don't know. Ooh, we have Bardane chicken strips left, so I think I'll eat those. 